Come on, YouTube. You can do it. Live now, Omega 500. What about the rest of the title that I typed in just moments ago? Ah, okay. One person watching. That must be me. Okay. So, good morning, boys and girls. It is approximately uh, 11.19. It is Friday, and it is the 15th of September. Um, so, okay, so I've just set up the SD card, which is there. There's nothing on it as such, but um, how I did that was... There's quite a few people asking how you do it. It's quite simple. Um, so you go into System, you go into Devs. And all I did was find the dust drivers and I changed the SDO there was in fact CFO as though it's an Amiga 600 or a 1200. So I edited that. ED. I'll make something up. I can't be bothered to find it. Open. And we'll find devs. Oh shit. We'll find devs. There's devs. We'll find da, 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 DOS drivers, DOS drivers, and we'll find SDO open. Okay, so this is the uh, information um, that the Amiga uses to access and read the geometry of the drive and all the rest of the stuff. Excuse me. <clears throat> um, so as you can see, because it's already set up or was set up as a CF card, it will have FAT95. All I've done is change whatever that said before um, compact flash dot device I think it said so I've changed that to S A G A S D dot device it's all in lowercase uh, and if you change that and save it when you reboot your Amiga if you have a um, FAT32 formatted SD card it will pop up like that well not like that but as an empty an empty device um, so all I've done is copied this desktop over of this very busty wench, um, as I do, and it all works. Now if you have an Amiga 600, I don't know if it's more complicated than that. It might be. I don't know. I never set mine up on the 600. But I just thought I'd show what I did on the 5. Um, I haven't used HD Toolbox on it or anything. It's just a straightforward 16 gig card. Yep, there you go, 14.8, and I just copied it over. The other thing I've done this morning, which I've just finished, is I've sent off the details of my um, vampire card to the guys, so I can get future updates and all the rest of it. It's a new feature they do, or a new thing they do. I think it's because there's, there's a few um, different variations of the vampire now. Good morning, Jucko. How are you, sir? Happy Friday. Good morning, Jason Brown. How are you, sir? I hope you guys are well this morning. Um, yeah, this, this is downloadable from the Apollo team. You fire it up, it will read your card and um, save the data. Well, it won't save the data. It will just show you the data. You go to their website, type it in, and you can register your card. Uh, the reason being, I think, is because they've got different versions of the Vampire card now. And some will take fast updates, some won't. Um, you've got a 500, 600, they'll soon be a 1200 and a V4 and they'll all take different firmwares. I think it's purely so people don't um, don't mess up their firmware and download A600 stuff on a 500 or I don't know, whatever. But I presume that's what it's for. Uh, Juco says I'm fine. Good man, good to hear it. And Jason says I'm good, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. I'm okay, I'm off work today. So I'm just chilling, waiting for parcels to come. And uh, so I thought I'd do a, a little faff about on the Amiga. Um, yeah, so that's it, really. That's the only things I wanted to show of any interest today. I haven't copied anything over to the SD. I do have masses of data on various cards, but I haven't copied them over yet. I'll do it over the course of the weekend and do a few things. What I have done is unplugged my RAM expansion that was popped in the side. Um, which I think caused a few problems when I tried a few games yesterday. 
or whatever day it was. I think it was yesterday. Uh, Jason says I'm at work. Uh, sorry, mate. Work stinks. Sorry. Uh, one of the things I did run yesterday that didn't work, it crashed, was Strife. So I've unplugged my RAM expansion that was slotted in the side of the A500. Let's see if it works now. It should do. It's only Doom. Um, Juco, good to see that your Vampire is up and running. Yes, it's a V500, V2, a Vampire 500 it certainly is, which is the one I wanted all along, to be perfectly honest. I'm not a fan of the 600. The keyboards are rubbish, the, um, they're prone to failure, and I don't like them. The 500, to me, the car would fail without warning. Uh, the A500, to me, is old school Vampire. Uh, old school Vampire, old school Amiga. And... Um, that's what I wanted. Oi. Emulating behavior blocked without zone ID. Change Z. Z Doom. W WAD. Change tag blocked without. I don't know. What the hell are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. What's wrong with the WAD? Has he got a WAD? A WADA WADA WADA. I don't know what that means. It's not something I've come across before. Um, yeah, I always wanted the uh, A500 one, so I could pop it in the 2000 and the 1000, which are the, the classic range of the classic Amigas, I suppose. None of these new pretenders, the 1200 and such like. But no, all good. All good, all good. Uh, my old vampire's posted back now to um, uh, Igor, to uh, hopefully he'll, he'll sort it out for me. Um, which would be good. Oh, well, okay, we're all right now. It's just a, an intermittent bug. I mean, knifey works, okay. Um, Duco says, I hope they release the Vampire 1200 soon. I think they're hoping for a Christmas release, aren't they? Die, you Atari ST scum. <laughs> there you go. That's what you get for buying Microsoft stuff. Um, yeah, I believe the Vampire 1200 is, um, they're hoping for Christmas. I don't know when the V4 is supposed to be out. That might be Christmas as well, is it? I know they've already got some pre-production boards, or perhaps they're production boards, I don't know, in stock. You picked up the Medicaid. Uh, well, that's, uh, splendid. I hear you just removed some obstacles from your path. Nice work. Are you interested in some more lucrative projects? Is the stream working okay, guys? My um, capture card software has gone to sleep and I can't wake it up without rebooting the PC. I don't want to do that. Um, sure, why not? Let me turn the volume up on my TV. Belden is being held by the Order in their sanctuary. There's a rarely used entrance by a small pier off the river, which is unguarded. Get in, shut him up, and bring his ring back to me as proof. Beg your pardon? Bring his ring back to me. And if you return without setting off every alarm in town, there's a chance to earn much, much more. And here's a little helper that should give you an edge. Good. Remember, his silence is golden. So what you're saying is you want me to kill him. The side door to sanctuary. Oop. This is uh, considerably faster than it was in my 486 back in the day. Hello? Come here often, do you? You're looking a bit craggy there. Or the view lay would work wonders with your pale complexion. Okay. How do you get out of it? Oh, yeah, I remember, I remember, I remember. Yeah, there's a lot going on in the vampire world. Um, hopefully, we should have some new hardware by the end of the year. Very exciting. Where am I going? Sanctuary. Sanctuary. She sells sanctuary, apparently. What's that? Town hall. I used to know where things were, but I don't know. I'm old and stupid. I think it's here. You don't have a key. 
can you show gloom? I certainly can show gloom. Of course I can. Hello. I can't believe that I got stuck with this duty. They say that something evil came up out of the sewer gate. Now I get to stand here until it comes again. What gate? The sewer overflow gate. Okay, we'll save that. I'll play that at my leisure at some time. Look at that. Cool, it saves and everything. Um, can you quit? Yes, I can. Don't go, you're our only chance. Don't worry, I'll be back. You'll be alright. I'll, I'll come back. You'll be, it'll be fine. Uh, what did you ask for? Gloom. Can I play Gloom? Gloom 3? Ooh. Gloom Guide, Gloom 3. Do I need to set it up? Please assign Gloom. Okay. Consider yourself, yourself assigned. Select screen mode. 644.80. Okie dokie. That's a good. Go. I'm not sure if this is the zombie edition or something funny. Oh, I've killed my Amiga. Obviously, I've not set that up right. Um, Juco. Uh, I hope for a classic Amiga release like the classic SNES. I have heard, although I've been told not to say anything, um, that there will be, probably, a compact release of an Amiga in the not too distant future. Like the C64 joystick thing. Now, how good it will be and how it will work, I don't know. But I've been told one is in development. That's all I know. I don't know who's doing Well, I know who's doing it, but I'm not supposed to say. Um, what was I doing? Games, weren't I? Gloom. I tell you what, let's do. Ooh. View, 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 windows. Window, isn't it? Yes. Gloom. Where's gloom? Gloom. Clean up. That's a bit of a messy, messy mess, mess. How'd you tidy up? Ooh. Salt by. Oh, God, I'm having a brain freeze. How'd you do it? Clean up by. That was it. Name, okay. Oof. That's where my eyesight goes funny now. Gloom, Gloom AGA, Gloom AGA, Gloom CD32, Gloom. I've played Gloom on this, haven't I? I'm sure I have. How did I do that? How did I do that? Gloom. It can't have been WHD load release because they're all AGA. Are they AGA? Gloom AGA. Gloom AGA. Oh, I don't remember. I have played Gloom on here. Perhaps it was. This is an updated um, the zombie. Oh, zombie edition, is it? Cancel. Shut up. Oh, Gloom. Gloom. What's this mean? On screen. Yep, if you like. Sign to there. Yep. I've never tried the zombie edition, so I don't know if I'm doing it wrong. Yeah, I must be, because it's rebooting. I have played Gloom, and it plays quite well. Actually, it plays very well. But I've not played this zombie edition. I don't know what's funny about that. Or different about it. So what time do you finish work today, you guys? Is it a half day or are you working all day? Oop. That's wrong. Right, Gloom. Don't give me no... Is it because I'm not doing that? Oh, select CPU. Select screen mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's probably that. Well, it might be that. I don't know. Oh, shit. Yeah, okay. Screen mode, cyber graphics, on screen. Enable tracking. Close workbench, yes. Leave workbench running. Yeah, do that.
Oh, you're going to reboot me again. I don't know. Perhaps there's uh, something funny about this Z, uh, Z Doom. Um, I think the only oath you have to take is set is set. As it's not. I think the the oath. What do what? I think it's the oath you have to set so it not crash. Oh, I don't know what you mean, Joker. What do you mean? Um. I'm at work in about one and a half hours. Oh, path, okay. Uh, 22.30 Sweden. Ah, oh, okay, 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 okay. I know I've run glue, glue a few times. It worked, it worked really well. Can't find a sign. It's because I haven't assigned it. Don't be, don't be so painy. Glue, right. In the, let's do it in a window. Close workbench no. Set modem. Oh, I don't care about modem. That's good. Hmm. It's obviously something to do with the screen mode then that I'm getting wrong. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um Welcome to the contaminated... Oh, no, I have played this before. I've played this before. Oh. Oh, we've got a, bit of, a little bit of corruption there. I have done a video of this in the past. Gloom 3. And it worked really well. That does not, for whatever reason. So I'll have to spend a bit of time with that later. And uh, I'll do a... If you, if you need to see another video. But I have done one. Uh, if you have a, a little look in some of my past videos. There's a few videos on Gloom. I did do a series of them where I was trying to get through the various levels. Uh, la la. La la nunu. Um, so I do have some stuff on Gloom already done. Not quite sure why that one's playing up. I don't know if it's in this release of Apollo OS or what. Or what, I don't know. Benchmarking demos. See, if I was clever, I'd know what the difference was in this. There is actually a new release of this. This is R42. There's R43 now. But, um, like I say, I haven't set anything up as such. In fact, I haven't set anything up at all. And more hexen. I'm waiting for some parcels to come at the moment. So if it, um, if I disappear very quickly, it's because someone's banging at the door. Uh, do you have Frontier Elite 2? I haven't the faintest idea. Probably. Uh, for, for, for Frontier. Oh my god, that's a lot of stuff. There's a lot there for my tired eyes to study. What's it called, Frontier Elite 2? It's not, is it called Frontier Elite 2? It's just Frontier, isn't it? I've played that as well, many times. Frontier. Frontier. Thank you for using Roadshow. I'm not using Roadshow. Enough off. Help to quit. Okay. There we go. Frontier. This is the intro that most people play on accelerated Amigas, isn't it? Although I preferred Epic, to be honest, though it's a bit blank white. Never, I never liked the music on this particular. Be interesting to do a comparison with an original 500. It's pretty dire. <laughs>
Yeah, it's pretty smooth. Completely unoptimized for a fast accelerator, but smooth nonetheless. Payback. <clears throat> you mean payback, Lala? Yeah, I have payback. What well, was quite help, wasn't it? Yeah, okay, that'll do. Yeah, I've got payback. <clears throat> the GTA on the Amiga. Payback. Payback setup. Yeah. Probably what it is, I don't know. Or is it that? Don't know. We'll try that one first. Map editor. I'll have to do a map edit one day of this game. Do my do my local neighborhood payback styly. Be a bit of fun. PlayStation graphics on Amiga. So they crash, it's going too fast. Look at that baby spinning. Comments are new. Oh, is it in bloody foreignnessness? Travis, if you like. Don't know what that means. Yes. Okay. Why is it in French? Perhaps I press the French button. I'm English. I cannot speak any other language than English. And even then I can speak English very poorly. Avec a mission never Yeah, yeah, okay. Don't pip me. I do remember playing um, Grand Theft Auto in uh, ooh, in DOS in the olden days. Okay, I've got a pistol. How uh, have I got a pistol? No bullets. No. Okay. Oops. Let's pinch a car. Aha. Okay, sunshine. If I knew what button it was, you'd be in trouble. It's probably shift, enter, enter it is, okay. Yeah, cool. Yeah. You can't catch me, I'm an awesome getaway driver. Oh, that's oh shit. <clears throat> Take that back. Now, I've played this on an 060. Oh, oh no. Get out of the car. Good boy. Why am I drowning? Oh, I drowned it. Oh well. Cool air, Bob. Oh my god, it's too bloody quick, this thing. Oh. I don't remember it being this fast before. Oh, sorry, mate. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh. Oh, 
on the old clunker. Let's do that jump with a better car. Let's do it. Let's do it in an ice cream van. Let's do the jump in an ice cream van. Get in that car van thing. Oh, that way. Good boy. Beautiful. Oh, nearly made it. Hello, sir. Speaking of an 060, do you know if the new Phase 5 cars will be the same as before, updated or faster? I don't know anything, to be honest. Um, uh, good morning, Tibor. Uh, I don't know anything about them. I've seen the press releasement. Um, I've been to their web page. Um, but, to be honest, I don't. Uh, sorry. Quitter. We. Oui. Nah. Um, I would imagine that 20 years later they're going to be faster. Uh, but you're still stuck in the realms of the real 060, aren't you? Finn, yes, we. Commencer, no, nope. quitter, we. Um, uh, Juco says, I think it's 60 or 90, yeah. The, the trouble is with um, using a real 060, um, the old 060s are old technology and um, limited in their megahertz even though Motorola or Freescale still make them they're incredibly expensive now the 060 so I dread to think how much these things are going to cost I would imagine they'll sell them without a CPU but I don't know I mean a modern modern technology 060 card should be able to hit 100 megahertz as long as the CPU can handle it so I don't know to be honest I mean, I don't know what the fastest I ever had um, an 060 running, but I think it was. I did have an EC running at 100 megahertz, um, but generally speaking, they run about 80, stable, 75, 80, stable. So you are, whatever they do, I'm sure the cards will go like stink. But the trouble is, you're you're putting in, you know, it's like putting an old car engine in a racing car. It'll only go as fast as the engine, unfortunately. So we'll see. I don't know. I don't know, mate. I would suspect they'll be faster. But. So we'll see. I don't know. I could be wrong. I usually am. Um. Yeah. Dynamite. What's that? Don't remember seeing that before. Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. It's a, um. I can't connect. I have no connection any. Can I quit that? Yeah. Okay, that's something else I need to set up an internet connection. Uh, obviously, I haven't done that yet. Flying high. Pow. Really? 94x. That will crash, I'm sure. Descent. I was never a descent person. Why is that playing up? Wolfenstein, Wolfenstein. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, I'm trying to remember what the thought does want. That works in a window, doesn't it? Mini slug. This works in a small window, unless you mess about with it. Is it secret? Oh, there we go. Um, config up. Oh. Up. Down. Left. Right. Button A. B. C. OK. Joystick detected. Press button. A. Well, they got one button. That's a bit tricky. 
the... Oh, I can't do keyboard. Yeah, but I've only got one button, mini slug. Don't be so bossy. Go away. With your cocky attitude. Uh, yeah. Oop. Uh, Duco says, I think it's uh, 60 or 90 megahertz. I found out about phase 5. Uh, Cyberstorm PPC 604E is uh, uh, 1490 euros. Okay. Um, Cyberstorm 603E is. 799. Uh, Blizzard 2060 is 979. Oh my god. Blizzard 1230 399. Cybervision 398. B-Vision 398. A G-Rex card 499 euros. Right, okay. Well, they're not cheap, are they? I'm going to move the screen over. Uh, press, press down and hold. B yeah, all right. Chop. Start. This will be a disaster. I've only got one button. Ha ha ha! Gotcha. Uh, yeah, they're expensive, aren't they? But, you know. Yeah. Oi, pack it in. I'm trying to find the buttons. Don't shoot me. Ah, oh, there we go. What's jump? Uh, are the vampire team DK Beastie? Are the vampire team still developing a board for the 1200? Yes, they are, sir. They are indeed. It's a common. Can you jump? I don't know. I don't know how to jump. Anyway. Quit. Oh, best escape. Aha. Uh, yes, they are. They are still developing the 1200 version. Cool. I will recap my 1200 then. Oh, yeah, I need a, I needed a nice, clean, working 1200. I don't know why I went there. Actually, what I'm going to do, I think, is um, I'll end the stream shortly and try and have a play about with some. Uh, some software so we can um, have a bit of a mess about with some software even though there's lots on here there's um, it's generally stuff people know well deluxe music I don't remember deluxe music never ever use that D-Paint never used deluxe music Video player. Well, we all know the video player works, I'm sure. So today's video is going to be looking at the Amiga 600 by far. The <coughs> oh, pardon me. By far. Okay, I can't play them for any length of time. Um, I'll get a YouTube strike. They do get the arsing my gas about videos and music and anything else that people like what else have we got to play with while I'm here not a lot really dissolve deli tracker and then it'll all Promote itself to power learn it. Program a bit to the internet. MP3. Look at an MP3. Uh, uh, no, well, I'm a mod actually. It's less less likely to get in bother with a mod. Uh, 
That's a nice tune. It's been there. Oh, D paint is there. Programming. I never programmed an Amiga. All I ever did was make the screen flash different colours and put my name up. That was the sum total of all I ever did. Embarrassingly. Embarrassingly so. Terrible, really. I used to program the 64 and the Spectrum. Poorly, but I did. I never did anything with the, the Amiga. Such a shame. Okay, I'm going to end the stream here. I'm not really doing anything, I'm just messing about. Uh, we're going to try and find some new software, uh, things that are about, and um, uh, DK Beastie, are all those tools programs, are they part of the Apollo OS for the Vampire release? Yes, they are. This is a standard Apollo Vampire release. It is an unofficial um, release. The software that's on here is... Um, still property of whomever made this stuff a lot of it is now free or abandoned or forgotten about but there are still programs in here by companies that are still going um, so you could argue that this is still copyright stuff so it's an unofficial release but it all comes with this software ready to rock and roll uh, so you need a 32 gigabyte CF card. Um, you go to wherever it comes from. There's a thing about it on Generation Amiga. Um, and you can uh, download it from there. What's that? What is it? It's a particularly large JPEG. Okay, so that'll do for now. Um, uh, uh, got you. Do you know if you can emulate without this without a vampire? I would imagine you can emulate it perfectly well without a vampire. Um, some of the stuff is optimized for the vampire code, so it won't run as well. But if you run it emulating on a PC, you can whack the speed up, so it'll, it will. Um, I'm sure it will. Uh, it will um, ignore any speed problems. Now, whether it'll crash because it's looking for code that's not there or not, I don't know. But yes, you can emulate it. Um, right, that'll do for now. I'm going to put some software on a disk, and I'll be back on in a little while, I should think. Unless, I don't know, Shillery's Theron comes knocking at the door, or Taylor Swift, or you know, or a parcel comes that's vaguely interesting. <laughs> Apart from all those things, I should be back on shortly. Thank you very much, guys. I'll see you soon. <laughs>